Hello, fellow highbrow. Blessed day to all of us, and welcome back. This is Teacher Randy, and we're back again for our Knowledge Reel, the English and Filipino versions. In the last episode, we learned the four types of sentences. Can you guys recall what they are? Okay, let's recite them all together. We have declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, and exclamative sentence. So, did you guys get them all right? Excellent! Now, let's move on to our next one. Starting today, well, in fact, we already started it from the last episode, most, if not all the time, we are going to start our topic with a warm-up. So, let's do it! What is a main clause? You remember, we included this as the third characteristic of a sentence, the two parts of a main clause. So, what is a main clause? Right! A main clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, like the dog's bark. But don't forget that a clause is different from a sentence. A clause is a set of words that contains a subject and a verb, while a sentence is a set of words that expresses a complete thought, like the dogs bark when they hear a noise. Independent clause. It is a clause that makes sense on its own. Dependent clause. It is a clause that doesn't make sense on its own as a sentence, and it's also known as a subordinate clause. As their name implies, these clauses depend on independent clauses to clearly express ideas. Relative clause. It provides extra information about a noun. It is a type of dependent clause. Now, let's move on to our main topic. Watch! And listen carefully. We are finished with the four types of sentences. And this time, it's about the four types of sentence structure. Please bear in mind, do not confuse the four types of sentences with the four types of sentence structure. Our first type of sentence structure is the simple sentence. It consists of one independent clause. It contains a subject and a verb. A few examples of simple sentences are Sophia likes flowers. Sophia did not go to the ball. I love babies. The next type of sentence structure is the compound sentence. It consists of two independent clauses. It is joined by a coordinated conjunction or a semicolon. Coordinating conjunctions can include and, but, or, nor, for, yet, and so. A few examples of compound sentences are, I like coffee and my sister likes tea. Sophia likes flowers, but Mike likes cards. And here, we see the sentences without the coordinating conjunctions. There are two independent clauses that each make sense on their own as separate sentences. We need to know that we use commas before coordinating conjunctions. After that is the complex sentence. It consists of one independent clause plus a dependent clause or subordinate clause. Subordinate clauses are joined by either a subordinating conjunction, which is after, although, as, because, etc., or a relative pronoun, which is that, which, who, etc. A few examples of complex sentences are Maurice left in a hurry after he got a phone call, 
The lever backs are very hard to find because they are small. I know the guy who left the bag. In these sentences, we see independent clauses which can make sense on their own as a separate sentence. And the dependent clauses which are after he got a phone call, because they are small, and who left the bag. They don't make sense on their own as separate sentences. The last example shows us a relative clause with a relative pronoun who. It is very important to know that we use commas when the dependent clause comes first, but if the sentence begins with the independent clause followed by the dependent clause, then we don't use a comma. The last type is the compound complex sentence. It consists of at least two independent clauses and one or more dependent clauses. April doesn't drink coffee because she palpitates, so she tends to drink milk instead. Here, we see two independent clauses which are April doesn't drink coffee and she tends to drink milk instead, and one dependent clause which is because she palpitates. Now, please answer our mini quiz. That's it for our English version. Please watch out for the Filipino version. Bye for now!